Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So it's another ship with me. So I have some sales that need to go out and yeah, so let's just get right into it. This I actually packaged off of camera just because it was a little bit harder to package. Um, so this is, I'll just pop up like a video next to me. It's like a Jewels, the brand is Jewels and it's like a coat, it was maroon. Um, this sold for $50. I got this as a free donation from one of my friend's uh, moms. So you're my friend's mom. So that was nice. Um, of her so I made forty dollars off of this. This took up so like much room and it's fit in this box, but this is like crammed into this box. It took up so much room in my size large. Um, like, like I put my like jackets and long sleeve tops by size behind me. It's a little bit disorganized right now, but so, and this took up like probably like at least a fourth of the bin, if not like a third of the bin. This. I'm so excited to have the sleeve though. So this winter, even that was a free donation, so I literally have no room to complain. But this winter, I'm only fo I'm trying to focus on like packable coats, or if they're gonna take up a lot of room, I want them to sell for over fifty dollars because I just can't. I just yeah, there's I just hate the amount of. I I you hear a lot of people say like oh I like to sell winter stuff better. Well, jeans are my favorite thing to sell. Period. But. I just really do not like selling like a bulky coats because I don't like shipping them. They're usually expensive at the stores and they take up a lot of storage room. So anyways, these are a pair of AG, Adrian Goldschmidt, and these are a pink straight leg jean. So I got these in Chicago for half off of $8. Um, and they did sell like in a decent, they actually did sell very fast. I accepted an offer for $30 for them, which was honestly like lower than I wanted, but... I just, I was fine with that because one, they're pink jean, so a colored denim doesn't sell as well. And we're going out of the season for like, I feel like this color, I don't think this is, a, I think it's more of a spring color, not necessarily like a fall color. So that's why I did go ahead and uh, choose to accept the $30 offer. But with that, my earnings were 24 and I still made $20. So $20 profit is where I like to be. Um, I'm trying to raise it to at least like a $25 profit. So. Obviously, if I'm paying up for $4 isn't paying up for something for me, but if I am paying up for something, so like paying up for me is something like that's like $10 or over, um, depending on category. Like I feel like uh, like $8 for a pair of shorts is paying up for me, but I like selling AG and I do like to sell AG jeans um, in certain styles. I don't always pick them up because some of them do not sell, but usually I will stay away from the colored uh, jeans, but these were the high rise straight crop, so that is a great style. So that is why I went ahead and picked those up. And yeah, so I uh, would pick those up again, but uh, yeah, I had those listed at $50, which were like the comps were like near there. But if you get those in like a blue wash, they're gonna do probably sell a lot better. And if they were in like a blue wash or like a black wash, I probably would have held out a little bit longer because uh. They're a more desirable style. But those were a desirable fit. Okay. Another pair of jeans I also got in Chicago. These I was very happy about. I was kind of concerned. But these are Citizens of Humanity, which again is a brand that's been around for a while. So I don't always pick it up. There's a lot of old pairs. But these are they're called the Rocket. And they're a high-rise skinny jean in a size 30. So I heard that lots of, a few people talk about the Rocket. They're like, oh, the Rocket jean from Citizens of Humanity sells well. And I was like, okay. They were $10 half off, so I paid $5 for these and in Chicago. And I was like, okay, let me just try them. They're $5. We'll just see how they do. I listed them at $60, and within like a week or two, I got a $51 offer. So they do sell well. Maybe these were size 30, but I also, for this particular wash, I found like a lot of good stock photos for this that made them like a, look a little bit more like, like a modern or trendy style. I liked how they styled them. So, um... Maybe that helped, but anyways, they did sell for $51, which is a really good sale. Uh, so with that, here we go with my labels not being organized again. There we go. My earnings were $40.80. I paid five, so I made $35.80 off these pair of skinny jeans. So skinny jeans are still selling. Um, yeah, I would say like... Uh, if they're high-rise, they usually do well for me, so I try to stick to high-rise 
jeans, um, but the leg style doesn't matter a whole lot for me. But like, unless they're like a trendy brand, like I wouldn't like, Citizens of Humanity is like, like not, I mean, I would cons I would consider it like, not like a trendy brand, but like, I mean, I don't know, it's hard because it's still at Revolve and like usually Revolve has like trendy stuff, but this style is still still at Revolve, so and yeah, anyway, I guess whatever, but I would pick these up again, so I'm curious to see how they would do in like every size because uh, th these were a good size at a size 30, but so I just, I love going to Chicago because especially the denim section, there is always, it's filled with brands that I don't come across like super often, but I want to sell and I don't pick up like everything, every good brand in Chicago. Like there's so much AG that I pass on. There's so much citizens of humanity that I pass on, but there are good styles that I will pick up. All right, these are Lululemon and these are just a size 12, just pull on legging. Um, they're like a red texture. So these did have some pilling to them, which I noted. So I listed them at $50. They were size 12. I got these in a bag sale for $1. And I sent out an offer for $42 with discount shipping or my robot did from Flip. F-O-Y-P, I use that service, it's free and it's good enough for free. The only thing I don't like about it is I can't, it doesn't relist my items on Poshmark after 60 days, but I feel like over time they will eventually get that. But that's the one thing I did pay for Poshmark VA and, uh, but, and I did, that's the only thing I like about Flip better than Poshmark VA is, or uh, the, the, that's the only thing I like about a uh, Poshmark VA, um, better than Flip, is that uh, they can relist the items after 60 days. So I feel like Flip will eventually figure out how to do it. But anyways, but Flip is free and free. Posture VA was just too, it was just too, basically I was paying for Posture VA to relist my items after 60 days. And I just didn't think it was worth it for me. Um, I know some I do think it's important to list your items, uh, relist your items, and uh, I did, when I relist, uh, relisting items did help me get sales, but I, these weren't relisted, these sold up within like 60 days, but I do try to relist as, like, I have to relist manually, but even though it takes a while and it's like not the most exciting task to do, um, it's still worth it. It's, Posture VA was paying like a hundred and like twenty five dollars or hundred thirty five dollars for like six months, and that was just too expensive, in my opinion. When Flip can do like pretty much, that's the only thing that Flip, Flip sends out my offers. It shares my closet when I want it to, and it's just I just like it. It's free, and I save a hundred twenty dollars a month, and it probably takes me like an hour every sixty days to relist items so even though i would be saving an hour for my time i'd rather save a hundred and twenty or hundred thirty dollars to spend an hour of my time relisting them than to pay for a service like that so that's just me i know some people do like posture va but that is why i use flip oh okay, yeah so my earnings on those were like i got those in a back sale like i was saying Oh, so my earnings were $33.60, so I made $32.60. The offer that I sent out expired, so she sent me the same offer, but it didn't have discounted shipping, so I love when that happens. All right, this is Jay McLaughlin. I just picked this up, and this is just like a sheath dress with, like, gathering. So I listed this for $85 because the comps were good on it, and I got an offer for $55, which is a little bit lower than I wanted, but we are getting out of the season. So I just kind of sat on it because I knew I would probably eventually accept it, accept it. But sometimes I usually, um, when I get like a lower offer than I want, I usually will sometimes just sit on it until when I'm in like a more like reasonable mood and then I'll just ex end up accepting it because I like to move out stuff. So this was still a great profit. I paid $7 for this. So if I can find my sheet of how much I earned. Um, but I, I, this was a great profit. Uh, this was on my first like thrift trip 
of me i've been on thrift trips by myself i probably should have said that in my youtube my thrift with me video but this one i like actually drove myself to goodwill and i like spent as much time as i wanted in there all, like, all by myself so that was nice and i found this but yeah so where is this thing i have my don't have my labels organized again it's just kind of like Oh, there it is. Okay. So my earnings were 44. I paid $7 for this. So I made $37, which is great. Uh, I could not find, I found the style name because it was on the tag. So, but like there wasn't any available in this color uh, and none available in the size and the color, which probably helped. So I hope she likes it. Um, and I'm happy that it was a quick turnaround. This, uh, okay, this is something in a bag sale. I tried to get to take to the Bicel Trace store, but the Bicel Trace store did not take it, so I ended up listing it myself. It's a Merrill size extra large, just like athletic dress. So this did have like a little bit of pilling on it, like throughout, which I noted in my description, or in my listing. So I think that's where the Bicel Trace store didn't take it, but I listed it. I think I had it listed for $15 and I got an offer for 12, which was a super fair offer. Um, and I would have accepted like an $8 offer on this. So I was happy to move it out. I paid a dollar for this. So when I have like, but the thing is, so like I paid a dollar for this and like would I have paid, I wouldn't have paid like, let's just say it was like dollar a day at Goodwill or I found like, um, I guess a dress or I found out at a garage sale for a dollar. I wouldn't have picked it up. But since I had room in my bag sale uh, in the bag, I just decided to throw it in there because I had room. So I thought I might as well. And, uh, yeah, so I ran the risk. Sometimes the Bicel Tracer doesn't always accept the things. I get my bag sales, and sometimes I will just donate them. But I've, I'm getting better at, like, trying to figure out what the Bicel Trade Store is accepting. And they, like, knew with hags. Uh, this wasn't in the best condition either, so I knew that going into it. So, anyways, but that's okay. I still made, I made $8.05 off of this dress because my earnings were $9.05. But $10 is... The bags are $20, so this almost paid for half a bag. So, yeah, I'm already in the profits from the bag sale. And I really don't think, like, people care. So, I'm just using them because I have them. I'm going to use a box for these because they are a little bit heavier. Because um, I'm trying to use up these boxes because I ordered a, a whole bunch of supplies off of USPS. And, uh, because these are the flat rate boxes and they are not the ones I need for eBay. I'm for, for posture work, it doesn't matter, but once those come in, I just don't really want them. I don't want to, like, be able to get them mixed up, so I'm just going to return. I'm just literally going to go, when I go to the post office one day, I'm just going to grab all the supplies that I don't like using because it says, like, medium flat rate on that, which I don't use for eBay, so, um, I'm just going to go return them one day, and, yeah, so hopefully they... Uh, they have like they always have like boxes and mailers out so i'm just gonna go and i'll just drop them off one day and it'll be fine because yeah they're not being wasted because somebody else will use them there and then yeah all right this i got in my clothes mentor 90 percent off sale it's a lululemon sports bra i paid a dollar 80 for this and i listed it for 28 and i got an offer for 15 and it was getting so much attention which i was kind of surprised about uh so i did end up i I countered to 22 and then they came back at 20, which I accepted, but I waited like a day to accept their $20 offer because, uh, it was getting like, I probably got over 10 likes by the time it sold. So, and it was listed for like, I think like two days. So obviously like people are like, I guess active. This was an older style too. It was from like 2013 and on those styles, I just try to make sure like the elastic is in good condition because after a while, like, sometimes the elastic and stuff, um, like, kind of starts to wear down and gets, like, crunchy. Especially have, if it hasn't been worn in a while. So, I, uh, this elastic was going strong. And my earnings for this, uh, Lulu bra, where is it? were $16 and I paid a dollar, I think 80. So my earnings were $14 and 20 cents. So even though that's a lower profit than I'm going for, it was within two days. So when it's a sale where I'm paying low, a low cost 
and it's flipping quick like that, I don't really care if it's like a lower profit because, again, sports bras don't take that much time to list. And it was a fast sale. And yeah, so I, again, have no room to complain about this. I'm going to Waco, Texas. So I want to go to Baylor University for my college, but like, I doubt I'm going to be able to go to there because it's like super expensive, but if money wasn't an object, I would go there, but I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going to go yet. So I still have like, I'm going to be a senior year. So it's Monday and I start my senior year on the 16th, which is Wednesday. So you guys will be seeing this video after that. And like, I'm, I don't really want to go back to school, but like once I start it, that means I'm that much closer to being done with it. So that's like my mentality for this year. Every year I have to give myself a pep talk when it's like time to go back because it's like really sad. But yeah, so that's a, that's a bummer um, because that means I won't be able to like thrift as much or like make as much videos or like, so because I won't be able to thrift as much, list as much, I won't be able to make as much money as I have in the summer because, well, some resellers, like other full-time resellers or just like maybe other part-time resellers are always like um, summer slowdown. Well, for me, it's a summer like non-slowdown because like since I'm like listing more and having like more listings being published, I get more sales. Um, so the summer usually is like a peak moment uh, in my career or not my what am i what am i saying oh it's like the peak mode where i make the most money in the summer every year it's just that's how it always is because if you're spending more time on reselling you are like gonna make more money this one that was an athletic sports bra oh i also got that from the buy sell trade store for i think a dollar 20. it sold for 21 dollars with discount shipping my earnings were 14.78 and i made 13.30 off of that that was a quick flip those like long line sports bras that like resemble the lululemon a line tank do really really well so i was not surprised it sold fast um so that was great i love again as a lower profit sale but those this probably took me five minutes to list and same with that lulu sports bra and i made like i think like almost 30 dollars from those so probably 10 minutes into 30 dollars is fine by me all right Next is, oh, we'll just do this Athleta Squirt. This is an Athleta Squirt. This is an older label, but their squirts have been doing really well for me like last summer. So I wanted to get this uh, when I found it in the fall. Like I almost found this, I think like, actually I want to say it was like maybe March of this year. So I wanted to get it for the upcoming season, but it really did not sell that well. So I have been being, even like the older, labels of pants and stuff from Athleta, they, those used to sell well for me, but they just haven't been lately, and I, I really don't know why, but, so I'm gonna be a lot pickier with them going forward. I would still pick this up for a dollar, but I did pay four dollars for this, so I would not pay four dollars for this again, because it did not sell that well or for that much. I think it sold for twenty-two dollars with this kind of shipping, and my earnings were fifteen fifty-eight, and my profit was eleven dollars and fifty-eight cents, so it did not sell fat. I mean, it didn't take forever to sell, but it didn't sell fast either. And it wasn't a high profit. So yeah, so I will be pickier with Athleta Scorts when I move forward, but they like usually sell well for me. So that was a little bit surprising. But again, I did pick up some Athleta Scorts in Chicago, when I went to Chicago, like, um, I wanna say in like, uh, and like December, like late December of last year. And those took a long time to sell. I mean, they all sold except one, but they did not sell fast. And usually they sell fast. So I don't know, maybe it's time to say, I'll just like start looking them up now, but they might be like a little bit like oversaturated and stuff, but even like the newer ones with like the style name under them, they just have not been selling fast for me. So I have, yeah, I just am gonna start leaving them behind more than I might used to, but I still pick them up for a dollar, but I wouldn't pay, I wouldn't pay full price for them. I'm not going to pay full price for them anymore. I guess it's a good thing to say. All right. I also got this in Chicago in like December or something. Um, this is Millie size six and it's like this wool cap sleeve just dress. So I listed this for $50 and I got an offer for 35. So since this had been sitting a while, I 
was fine with that offer. I paid like six dollars. Maybe maybe this might have been half off or something. I really I typically pass in really these days, but I actually did pick up one when I found the outer known jeans and the Jay McLaughlin dress. I did pick up a pair of Millie pants because they were new with tags. But uh my I I got, I wrote down that I paid full price for this, but I'm not sure if that's accurate. But my earnings were twenty eight, so I either made twenty one dollars on this or if I paid seven or three dollars fifty cents, I don't know. I'll just say I paid. I made twenty one dollars off of this dress. So again, that does hit my twenty dollar profit mark for normal price thrift store items. If I'm paying up, I like to typically spend, or I like to. If I'm paying up for something, I like it to sell for, uh, like at least like a thirty five dollar profit, unless it's gonna be a fast flip. So. I don't know if I'd pick this up again. I honestly, I might pick it up again if I was, like, in... So, I might pick it up again if I was, like... What, how am I trying to say this? I wouldn't pick it up in Chicago just because there are so many other... Like, I don't know. It's hard to describe, but I'm more picky with the stuff when I find it in Chicago just because there's... The brands that I want to sell there or brands that I'm looking for are so plentiful that... I can like choose to be picky, but in my area, I mean, I do find good stuff in my area, but they just aren't, there aren't as many good things in my area when compared to Chicago. So if I'm just like looking to get a number of items in one day or something, I don't necessarily need to pick up items I'm not like the most excited about this I, this wasn't the most exciting dress to photograph list whatever so I don't think I'd pick it up in Chicago but I probably would in my area but the thing is I could find like 10 dresses that are better than this next time I go to Chicago so that is what I'm trying to say if that makes sense so that it also make is like the same with the denim section so though i when I picked up that Jay McLaughlin dress and the outer known jeans, I also picked up a pair of frame jeans and a pair of cabbie jeans. And I would not have picked those up in Chicago just because there are better styles that I could have found in Chicago and there are other from... I find frame jeans like at least probably 10 pairs every time I go to Chicago and I probably pick up one to two of them. And those are just not a style I would have picked up in Chicago. One, because the prices are typically higher, but two, because there are more options than I have here. So I kind of treat the I kind of treat the thrifting in Chicago as like going to the buy sell trade store and like a cause the, the thrift stores in Chicago are typically cheaper than the buy sell trade store unless you're looking at the Salvation Army in Darien, Illinois. I will never go back to that location again. I don't think I would, but um, they were like buy sell trade store prices and it was, yeah. But the Goodwills in the Chicago area, they do mark up quite a bit of stuff, but I am always able to find stuff. I like to sell for good prices um, and like lots of it too. So these were Draper James. They were new with tags, wide legs, chambray pants with like a waist belt. So these are size six. These did sat, sit for a while. Um, I'm being a lot more picky with Draper James, so I feel like in a few, like a year, and like I would say in two years from now, I won't pick up like, uh, <laughs> I probably pass on 50% of Draper, Draper James, like as of right now, but I'd say like in a year or two, there might be a time where I don't pick it up at all, so yeah. Because these did not sell that fast. They did not sell for that much. Um, let's see, what did they sell for? There we go. They sold for $26 with discounted shipping. I made $18.78 and my earnings were... Uh, these were the half up color. So my earnings were $16.50, which isn't terrible, but it's not like great either, considering they sat for a while. So... But I don't know, let me know how you do with Draper James. I do still pick it up, but I am, have been a lot pickier with it than I usually am. Oh, I also have this tape dispenser. I've had it, but I ran out of like the tape that goes inside, so I had to order more. 
Um, but I got a hate comment from Heidi at Resale Secrets. I'm I'm completely joking. She did not leave me a hate comment. She was just giving me a hard time because this does save time. And she's like, you need to get one of these. And I was like, oh, I, I trust me, I already have one. But yeah, we just give each other a hard time. So, of uh, the, uh, like the free USPS mailers. So I have to use the mailers that I paid for, which is annoying, but I ordered them and they like a few days ago and they still haven't come in. So I think I have to run to the post office today anyways. So I might just pick up someone I'm there, but because I can always use those mailers, I use them every day. So uh, yeah. So these are the mailers I use for eBay on like larger items that are under a pound. So, but they're also a little bit more expensive. Okay. This is a pair of Anthropology pants. I got these at the Buy Sell Trace for 90% off sale, the winter sale. These are super colorful. They're a like trouser relaxed tapered leg. I just love the print of these. I paid $2 for these and they sold for $30. I listed them at 50 and somebody sent me a $30 offer. So since they've been sitting, I, and I feel like these are more of a spring style, but I guess you could wear them in the fall. I just went ahead and accepted them. I was like, I was fine with that. So, yeah, I, I, I'm fine with that profit. So, I, again, I think my earnings are 24 and I paid $2, so I made $22 off of that. And I just love the style of them. So, but I don't think they were like a style that everybody could pull off. So I feel like I had to wait for that specific person to look at them and want them. I did get a few like offers for $20 on these, which I just wanted to pull out for more. And I got that. So pulling out doesn't always work for me, but I just, it kind of just like take different factors into um, consideration. I look at uh how long has this item been listed is it good for the season what was my price like how much should i pay for it and just other things like that so i'm with accepting this offer and a jay mclaughlin but there are some things that i do counter on i don't know if i countered anything Did I, I probably said i countered something I honestly, I don't think I count, I honestly, what I'm trying to say is, I don't think I countered, oh, no, I did counter on the Lululemon Sports Bra, but that, I think that's one of the only things that I did. I accepted, like, most of the offers that came in, or they accepted them when I sent them out. These were accepted offer, they are Lululemon fleece line legging, I got these in Chicago. I just love, I, I love thrifting in Chicago, I really do, and I do like it in my area as well, but it's just in Chicago, like, I mean, I'll never know what I'm going to find here, but in Chicago, like, it takes, like, I'll never know what I find to, like, a complete different level. And I just get so excited because I'll just, I just see so many good brands. And, like, it's honestly a little bit crazy because, like, I can afford to be, like, picky on them. And, like, yeah. And a lot of, I know some person, when I said that, I think in my Chicago video, I said, like, how I'm able to like afford to be picky on some of the brands because I can, I really don't have a budget when I'm going thrifting because uh, it's my money I'm spending and I do have like lots of saved up so I can make like purchase it like large uh, amounts. Like if I wanted to spend like $5,000 on a like at one goodwill for whatever reason I could but I try to take like okay how much quantity am I wanting to take in right now and somebody said well if you think about it like that there might be times where you run out of stuff to list and that is true so like but at the same time I want to make like good decisions too and even though I might pick up a pair of frame skinny jeans in my area for seven dollars I, I don't know. I guess they're right, but at the same time, I don't know as well. I don't, it, it makes sense to me, but like I understand what they're trying to say about like how you'll eventually need stuff to list. So you should pick it up if it's there, if you have access to it. Um, and wait, oh, okay. 
and I don't disagree with, I, I agree with them, but I also disagree with them because I want to make sure I'm getting good quality items, so, yeah, and a lot of the items are, like, kind of iffy, too, but I don't know. All right, these were, uh, I, I let's see for $65, I sent an offer for $54, that's kind of shipping, they accepted that, my earnings were $41.18, these were $15, but half off of the Chicago, so my profit was, uh, $33.68, which is great. All right, and then another pair of Lulu. I got these in a bag sale as well. These are like a super long inseam. Like, look at that. So these are these skinny twill pants from Lululemon. I listed these for $50. These are not like a new style either. These have like, yeah, but they still sold. Um, and my earnings were $31.58 and I paid a dollar for these in a bag sale. So my profit was $3.58, so absolutely no complaints for me about that. I don't know. The sad thing is, I am, I don't, I don't think I'll be able to go back to Chicago anytime soon. It's like, I get there to Chicago, like, even though I'm three hours away from it, it's just not, like, the most convenient to go up to, because usually when I go... The only times that I go really go to Chicago are when it's like to pick up somebody from like the O'Hare airport, which does happen like every once in a while, but it's not like the most fre frequent. So, um, but the last year I was able to do it two times within like two weeks because my sister's boyfriend came and we picked them up in O'Hare and then we like, uh, and then we, like, left, or then we dropped him off in O'Hare, and the good thing about that was we never had to drop him, we, I think we picked him up at night, and then we dropped him off at night, like, after the thrift store was closed, which I think, actually, when we dropped him off, we dropped him off around, like, five, but I was able to make it to one more thrift store before, like, they all closed, and, yeah, but when we went to pick him up, we just, like, left really early that day. It was, like, on a Saturday, and we left early in the morning at, like, 8 a.m. and got there. I try to start, like, two hours. I start in Willowbrook, Illinois, usually, and then I go to Downers Grove, and then I honestly don't really know where I go from there. Last time, I only had two, time for two of them, when we went to pick up my sister, because my mom had to work that day, so she just took a half day, but, um, yeah, but... And then we go to Cubs games sometimes, but then I'm just able to go to one store because the Cubs games take a large portion, which I, I'd pick up the, I'd rather go to the Cubs games over thrifting, obviously, but I mean, maybe not obviously, but like, I, I would rather go to the Cubs game. So yeah. Um, so it's like not the most convenient location ever, but uh, I just love going there. I just have to get out a special box for, so I have to get out these special boxes when I have a pair of tall boots that I'm shipping out because they're tall boots. So, uh, I usually ship these with when I get like hunter boots or like maybe like the fry tall boots or just like other tall boots. Um, when I have to ship those out, I get these from um, actually like a local restaurant. So I think they just had like a whole bunch of one there. And like, I saw like, I, I honestly don't remember the story, but I uh, I just end up getting a whole bunch of them and they fit my, like the tall boots like perfectly. So yeah. All right, these are a pair of Dolce Vita. These are really cool. They are like a moto style with like a whole bunch of zippers and buckles details. I got, these were a size six, and I got them at the uh, Buy Sell Trade Store clearance event for $4. And uh, I had them listed for, the comps on these were really good. For Dolce Vita, they were really good. But I accepted a $39 offer on them, which isn't, if we're paying $4, again, that's not bad, but 
I'm like, maybe I should have held up for more because uh, comps were good. And they're like a leather style going into the season, into the right season, but I haven't had that much interest on them. They are a smaller size, they were size six. And my profit was, my earnings were $31.20 and my profit was still $27.20, which is still pretty good. So that is why I was fine with accepting the offer, but again, could I have probably held out? Probably, but I don't love to sort the tall boots either. Um, and I hope they have a new home. So the reason, some main reasons why I accepted this offer were that they were, they took up a lot of storage space, the tall boots do, and they were a smaller size. So yeah. All right, let's move on to eBay now. So yeah, all right. Okay, so actually these I'm gonna package off of camera because, okay, these ones I'm not even packaging today because I'm waiting for my boxes to come in because I don't have a box that'll fit these currently and then besides like the flat rate boxes and I'm not using a flat rate on these. But these are Z coil shoes. These only sold for $24, which was like a little bit disappointing. I thought they would do a lot better, but I, they did have some like wear to them. Like they just have like, they're white and they have no laces as well. So I got these for like $5 at Goodwill or something. And so I probably made $15 off of these. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna try that. If I find this brand again, I'm gonna try it again. But if it doesn't do well for me again, then I'm probably gonna not pick them up. But I hadn't found them until these, so. All right, and then this I'm also packaging off of camera, which is like, this is my first time ever selling a hard good. And it was like a depressing sale. All right, so this is a Barbie alarm clock. So I got this like church ramen sale or something. Like I was like driving on the, um, with, with my mom. And then we saw like church ramen sale and we're like, oh, like why don't we just stop in real quick? But then like, they, I guess they were like closing. So they just said everything was free. And I saw this, or I found this like two weeks ago. I just haven't like hauled, I didn't put it in a haul, but it says Barbie alarm clock radio. And I was just like, okay, the Barbie movie just came out. Like, I'm just gonna go pick it up. Or I Google lensed it real quick to, just to see if it was worth picking up. And like I saw in my Google Lens, I saw one listed on eBay for $80. And I'm like, okay, that mean, that's a good sign. Well, when I got home, I realized that person's listing was just like probably overpriced. So, uh, yeah. But, so I just decided to throw an option for 99 cents on eBay. Um, and I got two bids and ended up selling for $1.25 with $15 shipping. So I'm just hoping that this does not... I, I think it'll cost me under $15 to ship, but I need to ship this out by today or else my shipping is going to be overdue. But my boxes that I want have not come in yet, so I just need to like do calculations like with the labels and stuff. But do I regret picking this up? Like 100%. Like I wish I did not pick it up just because I just feel like I'm like extremely nervous to ship this out. Um... So I'm like trying to package it with like extra care. So I'm putting it inside of a box and like bubble wrapping the box. Then I'm just gonna take the box so it doesn't like pop open. And then I'm just gonna put it back and set another box and then bubble wrap the outside of this so hopefully it just stays all good that one's a little bit nervous i'm a little bit nervous for that i'm not even gonna lie okay all right this i got from the 70 percent off sale buy sell trace for clearance it's a lululemon scarf this was the first one to sell i did get an offer on another one but it was another like a this one was one of the best ones I should have just like probably only picked up two of them and that was the two new with tags ones. This one is new with tags. It sold for uh, $35 and I paid probably like $6 for it. So that's pretty good. It was a fast sale. Um, so I probably should have just like left the others behind. I would have got them at 90% off, but I paid $6 a piece and I got like eight of them. 
and like they haven't been listed for that long but they haven't been getting like that much attention but at the same time it's not the right season for them yet so after winter i'll know if i should have got them or not but it was kind of an experiment and a lot of you were curious to see how they would do and i'm happy to report at least one of this one has sold so I don't think I, I'm not gonna lose money on them, but I don't know. Was it my best investment? Maybe not. I like the post office I'm, I thought about going to today doesn't have a self scanner, and I just feel like this is gonna be so annoying if I just go in and expect them to like scan them for me. But like that's also their job, so yeah. This sat for over a year, and it's a Lululemon jacket. I think it was because it was like this really bright color that is very specific it's a size 10 though i got this for 15 dollars at that one garage so where i found like over 50 lululemon and like almost like 10 pairs of toy birch or something and this is one of the last things to sell i have a just a few things left but like not over 90 percent of that has sold and i've made a great profit at that garage sale i probably need to do a follow-up video but i haven't yet um yeah, I have one pair, or I think two pairs of Lululemon, like, one of them is a sh pair of shorts, and one of them is a, like, a, this weird skirt thing. It's, like, the shorts go over, like, the skirt, and it, I don't think it's, like, a desirable style, like, at all. And then my sister had, like, a few skirts and shorts that she got, and I actually just listed them yesterday because she don't want them anymore. So, that's all I have left, and I have, like, uh, I have a pair of... And I have, I have two pairs of shoes left because one of them is a pair of Tory Burch that are like a more rare style that I have priced high that I got a $120 offer on that I should have taken it, but I didn't. And I regret it every day because it would have been gone. And I, I, if I got a $100 offer on them, I would take them now, but I'm holding out for $100 on them because I know they can get that. And I have another like sweatshirt type jacket that's also left and that's it so uh yeah pretty good i'm happy like the, get, the thing is i really don't because some of the stuff i thought would take a while to sell like there was one pair of shorts i thought was going to take a long time to sell and they were the first item to sell so i just like like i can always have an idea of what i think will sell fast and what won't and yeah so i don't know it's just kind of like a toss-up so she hasn't, like, yeah, she, I texted her, like, the other day, actually, on the one year of when I went, and I was just, like, one year ago, I went to your garage sale, so, like, it was so exciting, blah, 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 and she does have some more stuff for me that I can buy off of her, but, uh, she still, wait, she just wants to go, I don't know, I don't really, she, like, needs to, like, go through it or something for, like, she has so much stuff that I think it's a little bit hard for her to, like, deal with. And it's, like, all her personal stuff. So I think she needs to, like, go through it. And she just hasn't had the time to do that yet. But um, she will eventually. And I will obviously have a haul. All right. These are J. Crew, And these are Button Fly, Kick Flared, Rahem, Jean. Super, super nice. Um, these were size 31 Petite. So the Petite concerned me a little bit. But I did, like, the style of them. These kind of looked like a pair of Veronica Beer jeans. I sold, I think, in last, or maybe a Ship With Me video, or maybe last Ship With Me video. Those sold for $100, and these sold for $35. But $35, I paid a dollar for these at Goodwill, so $34 is not bad at all for paying a dollar. And they did sell pretty fast, so for that, I can't be mad, and I would pick these up again. I'm hoping that these will be under a pound, but I don't know. Yep, they're at... 15 point okay but that's odd why does it keep going up let me try it laying out on a flat surface all right so these are over pound so yeah they're gonna have to go in here this, this is a flat rate envelope i will use on ebay it's a padded flat rate so that is one of the flat rate things I will use, but I, will, I don't really use the flat rate boxes that often, so. Um, right, then I just, on the label, I just put J. Crew jeans. 
I ship, if I'm not on camera, I ship my eBay orders as I'm printing out the labels, but yeah, okay. These were a surprising sale. I listed them for $60 and they're just American Eagle overalls, but they were new with tags. And I don't know, I kind of just felt silly listing American Eagle at $60, but they were a good size and they were like a straight leg distressed style. So I don't know, I just was like, the comps are good. I couldn't find that money per, uh, available for sale and they retailed for $90. So I thought I was like, okay. Um, and they, I paid a dollar for these at Goodwill and they sold for, I got a sent out offer for 45 on eBay and they accepted that and I'm happy. So that was my first time ever picking up and selling American Eagle. I don't think, yeah, uh, I picked these up because they were a good size, new with tags, and a dollar. But, I mean, I pass on new with tags, American Eagle, frequently. So, yeah. But I do pick it up sometimes. Well, actually, what am I? I don't pick it up. This is my first time picking it up, so I, I don't know why I said I don't. This is, okay, this squeeze over pounded, I don't even need to measure it, but I really hope I can cram it in here. So let's see, give me some motivation while I do this real quick. So I knew these would fit, but I had to take out my wrapping. So that's just what happens sometimes. The wrapping makes it harder for those like really like tight fitting items to get in. But these would probably cost twelve dollars to ship, but with this they cost they cost eight dollars and fifty cents, which is what I charged, and like, yeah. So um, it'll, they're fine; they'll be safe. But I like to wrap my items, but not every time. I mean, I could, yeah. It just. I wanted, I was not, yeah, it would have been $5 extra to not put those in there. So $5 is a lot of, that does add up. So yeah, okay. This sold super fast. This is a Lily Pulitzer dress, shift style. Lily Pulitzer shift dresses typically do well for me. So I got these at the Buy Sell Trade Store video. It was $4 and I listed at 55 or 65 and I got within a, an hour I got an offer for uh 55 which I accepted so that was amazing uh a quick sale for over 50 dollars when I paid for uh, I I would yeah I just love selling like This is a rag and bone, like linen striped t-shirt. So I picked this up for $1 and I got it because it was linen and it was a dollar. And I said, I'm not sure if I would have paid over a dollar for this. It was marked at $3.99. And I got this in Springfield, Illinois, which I also like to go to. And I, <laughs> it ended up selling for, $38 for full price. I was shocked. Like, I was shocked. Like, when I tell you shocked, I'm, like, not even exaggerating because it, it was, like, it's, like, just rag and bone. Like, it's so expensive. But this, I guess, was a newer style. It was men's, and it was a size small. So that was super exciting to me. Um... Yeah, I'd pick that up again in a heartbeat. So, hooray, hooray for turning $1 to $38 in a few days. Um, I got an offer for $25 on the Sun Poshmark. And I counter, I, I don't know why I countered, but I countered to like 30 or something. But, and I, and like they ghosted me and I regret, I was like, I wish I took that $25 offer. But now I don't because it sold for full price. So sometimes, okay, like very rarely does that work out for me, but having to work out for me in this situation. All right, this is a hood, full zip hoodie, 
by American Giant. This brand doesn't do that well for me unless it's like, this is their signature style, what they're like kind of known for. It's a full zip jacket. The quality on this is good. This was missing like the hoodie drawstrings, but I got it anyway. It was a woman's size extra large. It was in this red color. I listed it for $50 and I got an offer for 40, which I was happy to accept. Like when I get like a 20, this one, it also has to go in a box. So yeah, I need to figure that out. So I'm just gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Cause I, so I'm just gonna package this one off of camera too. Cause I have to wait for my boxes to come in and everything. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your favorite sale and I'll see you guys in the next video.